up guys? It's Living with OT. I'm your host. Happy holidays. Today I'm going to go um, look for cards. So obviously I'm going to go to different stores. If you saw my video I uploaded the other day, I only went to uh, the Walgreens and as you saw the Target wasn't stocked. So I'm going to go in a couple places. Uh, so I have some time this morning and let's see what kind of goodies we get today. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below hit the like button and I'll see you soon. Let's get on this journey. All right guys, so first Target, I didn't realize it's the holiday hours, now they're open 7 a.m. at least for one of the Targets I go to. So early bird, definitely catch the worm or they stocked already at this one a few days ago. So as you can see, completely empty, so part of the, the the search sometimes you get lucky and obviously right now nothing all right let's go check out the next door so this wally world i go to usually they're smart the way they have this set up you can see they have the cards uh, near the cashier um so they do it with all these little gimmies so if you notice the business strategy you put these in the front and people usually will grab these on their way out shopping I see a few card sets over there, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to buy anything. There's nothing good. I can already see there's hockey and WWE, so we'll see as I get in closer what's left in there. This lady in front of me is taking forever, but I think I see some kind of football right here. Look at that. I see one playoff football left, and right there, that's Don Russ. NASCAR, which I think some people buy. Social distancing, there's WWE. There's that playoff right there. So it looks like I'm gonna buy something today. And then there's a bunch of hockey. You never know what the, uh, I'll be nice to them. The card collectors leave for you. So sometimes you get something good. Okay, let's see what we have at Target today. Other Target. So I had luck with the Wally World. Got playoff football, which never seen ever, ever, ever in my life. I only spent $10 over there, so I think I might pick up something. Um, this Target usually has the same garbage left over. So as you can see, people will still buy this. Um, I don't buy baseball anything panini because it's obviously uh, unlicensed. So there's not much value in these cards, but this target looks like it was stocked up um, maybe a day or two ago. So gotta keep looking. So whoever is hockey fans, you can message me, but I never find anything besides baseball and sometimes football. So as you can see, there's another guy looking for cards. Beat the rush to it. So. I'm gonna check the toy section. I doubt that there's gonna be anything, but we'll see. So last up, local Walgreens. This is what my toy section looks like. And this is where I've noticed a trend they put the cards. So last time I got those baseball cards, right here. So, look at that. Found a few stuff. Actually, kind of cool Star Wars toy right there. And they always carry Pop Funko, which is my little side hobby, too. But these two right here are the same ones I saw last time. $5.49. And check this out. A football prime pack and a baseball prime pack. And guess what? I'm going to go and take these. Never know what you get in there. So you can kind of see with the baseball. You can kind of, you can kind of see there's something right there. And then football. There's Andrew Luck right there, but still neat. I think it's still cool. You never know what you can get in these little packs right here. So that's pretty neat right here. So we got two packs right here. And then right here, you can see they have not a bad stocking for this Walgreens. So I think this will be part of my weekly stop, but not too shabby for cards, guys. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'll see you guys at the rip. What is up guys, Living with LT. I am back, ready to rip cards. Don't forget to hit that like button below and of 
course, subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. Hit that like button. And here we are, guys. What a day of hunting. Not bad. I felt pretty good. Happy holidays again. And um, I'm going to save the football for last. But let's, let's go back to a little recap of what um, I got today. So the first visit was Walgreens. I'm sorry, not Walgreens. Walmart. Uh, right there. So you can see right there, I paid $5.48 for uh, really, really fat packs. These are 40 cards. And remember with football, there's gonna be more cards. Um, granted, there's 53 man rosters per team. So of course you will have more cards. Playoff is not the biggest sought off. Uh, very, very one of the low tiers uh, cards. Um, I'm, I'm learning it through this hobby. Being in the Facebook groups and of course watching on YouTube channels, um, other great creators out there. Playoff football is not the best, but obviously we're looking for Tua's, Joe Burrows, um, Jefferson uh, on the Minnesota Vikings, guys like those big rookies, CD Lamb, that potentially you can find autographs, of course they're rookie cards and whatnot. Obviously it's a different tier by status of which cares, uh, which, um, you know, like Panini Prism is the top one, the Optics the next one, Don Russ, and then of course your next echelons uh, go below. But right there, uh, there's the prices that I paid uh, with the Wally World right there. And went to the Walgreens. I did go to Walgreens uh, after the fact as my last run. And I picked up uh, football and baseball as you can see right there and i had to check to make sure uh with the manager that those were not tampered with so right there i paid 8.99 at my walgreens right there uh so total today i spent about 30 bucks on football and baseball cards um very very happy to rip so obviously later videos i want to do cost comparison and stuff but i'm learning as i'm going of course still being new to this hobby i still consider myself a novice uh very being very humbled about it so anywho uh there's a football so we'll jump into the baseball hobby pack and then we'll go to the playoff next so stay tuned let's get started bye all right so here is the baseball pack so this is uh very common i see with the walgreens it seems like other channels have had the same success finding these kind of packs so we're looking for random inserted high hobby packs so i get one hobby pack one pack and one bonus card so there it is right there it's from the fairfield company so this box this box is guaranteed to contain one hobby pack one one pack and one bonus card all right so let's see what we got going on right here Check in there to make sure there's nothing else in there. You see right here the loose packs right there. People could go in there and take from the packs. So off the bat, useless. There's Don Russ. Um, you can, like I told you guys, it's the Panini brands for baseball are not the official supplier for baseball. So pretty much these cards are junk that I've learned in the hobby. Uh, Julio Rodriguez. So this is a Bowman card so it's not a bowman chrome it's not a rookie card i don't believe i don't know who this guy is but typically it would say a uh, rookie card but maybe this guy is a rookie i don't know uh to my subscribers below um i'm there's a lot of cool cool guys that always tell me if i missed out on somebody and whatnot so very appreciative of that and we have 2017 tops heritage high number baseball cards so it's in the 1968 design always love the retro stuff let's get started with this one so if you want to go ahead, you can pause that. That's what goes here. And it's funny is whenever I go into these, I never actually read them. I actually do it after the fact. So when I record, I go back later, look at my cards and see what I missed out on and whatnot. So everything you see is obviously um, my real reaction. All right, so let's see what we got here. Heritage, not the most uh, sawed off product not very uh popular with, with people of course but let's see what we get here so mac williamson luke mail i'm going slow to look for those rookie cards and go in this area i really like these look at these really really cool retro design hunter strickland so renato lopez there's a rookie card right there let's see that one greg holland marcio cabrera that's cool it's a rookie card right there i really like this design Alan Cordoba, George Alfaro, a lot of rookie cards in here, and Seth Lugo. 
So not bad, five or six rookie cards right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure my cool subscribers out there will tell me if I got anybody good in here. But this is from 2017 draft class, so I don't know. But cool. I will have to research later on. And these cards are really thick. They have a really nice thickness to them. So rule of thumb is I always save my baseball cards. I've learned. Um, I do donate a couple to uh, other people. But um, I do try to save um, as I can. So here's Don Russ Panini. If you guys care. There you go. I'm probably not going to save any. I'm actually going to get rid of pretty much all my Don Russ cards that I've opened up for the 2020 year because they obviously have no value whatsoever. So let's see here. So California, Nolan Ryan. That's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Hunter Pence. It's an elite card. God, they're really gorgeous cards. Just I hate the fact that you don't see the logo right there. I really hate that. Alright, let's see here. Starling Mark. And what year is this? I didn't even bother looking at the year. So 2015. So Starling Man. Gregory Polacco. Hunter Pence. I got this guy again. Ian Kennedy. Corey Dickerson and Billy Hamilton. Yeah, these are going to my son. I don't have any idea why I get that. But nevertheless, there's the baseball cards right there. And let's jump into the football pack. Let's see here. So this one was the one I was worried about. So that one was slightly open, but the manager ensured that the cards are in there. So we're looking for one hobby pack two packs and one bonus card so hopefully i didn't lose my bonus card there but pretty much looks the same as the baseball so there's two card packs one hobby one bonus so there's football and let's see okay cool didn't lose i didn't lose my football pack Ooh, nice three packs so what do we got here nice little andrew luck right here in the Apple's coast playbook Man, I really liked Andrew Luck. I, I'm really sad that he uh, closed his season off, but he, he was taking way too much punishment. And of course, um, you know, he made his money and the wear and tear your body just sucks after a while. So hats off to him. So let me get my life together here. So let's organize these ordeal. Let's put these baseball over here. And my rookies, I will sleeve up a little bit later over there. So there's the football packs. Put that over here and right there all right so let's see which order i want to go into okay so we have 2015 panini contenders we have 2020 leaf draft football Ooh, this could be um joe burrow or tua right in there or a uh justin herbert and here's a score which is the most garbage of the cards for football uh what year is this this one, I don't know what year this is. Does this even say the year? Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's open that one up. There you go. If you want to see what's going on up in dark. Oh, there it is, 2016. Right there. 2016, I can't think. Mahomes was 2017. 2016 was Jared Goff, my quarterback. I am a Rams fan. So it would be Jared Goff and Carson Wentz. So let's see what happens here. Or Steve Smith Sr. Love this dude. Julio Jones. I don't think Julio was a rookie. There's no way he was a rookie. Matt Hasselbeck. Dang, dude. You were still playing, huh? Adrian Foster. Arian Foster, sorry. Chris Irie. Man, this takes me back to fantasy. Logan Ryan. That's cool. Stefan Diggs and Antonio Brown Reflections. That is a cool card, I gotta say. That's a neat card right there. I'm definitely saving that. Alright, well here's No Fly Zone. We have Devon House of the Jags. Tavon Austin. God, this guy was garbage for us. We paid him so much. He was... This dude sucked. I was, I was hoping for a Jared Koff rookie card. Christian Havenberg. So right here, these scores, you can see there were the first products. They're still in their college uniform, so they didn't make the modification to the profession, professional uniform yet. Wendell Smallwood, he played for the Eagles. Will Redman, 
I have no idea who you are. So that's pretty much garbage right there. All right, so let's go to 2018. Let's work our way up. So 2015, oh, sorry, 2015. So 2015, that I don't know. I cannot remember the draft class in 2015. So we'll see what's up in here. So I'm assuming these are college um, cards. So Rich and Sherman. Yeah, these are the college ones. So these are here are not the official year. Uh, understand that these cards right here are not the actual Richard Sherman. Obviously, I know did not play in 2015. So whoever was in this draft class, these I pretty much think are garbage too. But they're season tickets um, of the players. So see Andrew Luck right there. I don't remember if he. I have to check if this was his uh, rookie year. I don't. I don't believe it was. So Odell Beckham Jr. Odo Club for LSU? Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, Wes Walker. Ren Ren Rennell Hall. That's a cool, cool little refractor right there. Oh, maybe they're all refractors. Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown of our Rams. Uh Trey Waynes. And who the hell is this? Oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Cool. All right, let's see what we got here. 2020 Leaf Draft, five cards per pack. So these, I'm assuming, will be a lot of college um, players as well right here. So let's see if we get a Tua Herbert. Ah, nice, right off the bat, Tua, I love it. You guys know I'm Polynesian, love having Tua. This is that to the collection for sure. Henry Ruggs, nice. Van Jefferson, heck yeah. LA Rams, baby, saving that one. Derek Brown and DeAndre Swift. Very cool, I gotta say. Those are getting sleeved up. Not bad. If Tua turns out to be what everyone thinks he is, um, with, uh, I think they'll be a great deal. So I'm definitely gonna sleeve those up. All right, let's get to the playoff football. Right. Let's get it to the playoffs. So one concern, you guys saw how excited I was at the, I was at the Wally World to even find football. This pack right here was slightly already tampered with. So hopefully it didn't do damage to my cards. But five bucks for these things, I'm not complaining. So here we go. Hopefully we'll find some kind of good autograph and whatnot. You guys can pause that ordeal. Zeke Elliott, who I believe will be getting traded because the Cowboys have definitely paid way too much money. He probably will go to an AFC team. I'm thinking the Jets would make the most sense since they suck horrible. My Rams will kill them tomorrow. And the fact that they're going to have to get rid of some money. And he has too much money invested in them. So we're looking for exclusive Opti Chrome Blue Parallels. 40 cards per pack. Let's get started, shall we? So satisfying ripping, I gotta tell you. Happy holidays again, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the channel, please. That helps out my channel tremendously. All right, so my first playoff. So we already got something nice and juicy right there. Look at that. So I always put the stuff in the middle. All right, let's see here. T.Y. Hilton has had some great fantasy numbers. Julian Edelman, Derrick Henry, Mark Ingram, Frank Clark, Juju, Stephon Diggs, Marlon Mack. I lost him in fantasy. Hope he, uh, I think he had a pretty successful recovery. Max Crosby, Troy Pomelo, Devontae Parker. I have no idea who you are, Ron Armstrong. Don't see any rookie cards yet. Cam the Diva, my Rams put a whoop it on him. Champ Bailey, this dude is a badass right here. Jarvis Landry, just picked him up in fantasy to try to keep my playoffs going, no pun intended. Mike Williams, Tredarius White. Tiki Barber, love this dude. Jake Fromm, okay cool, I got a rookie card finally. There's some Jake Fromm fans out there. Oh nice, a Lamar Jackson, call to arms. That is cool, look at that, you can see me on my phone right there. That's a really cool refractor on card right there. To your Lamar Jackson fans, this is definitely going on eBay right there. That's a nice card. Look at that. Thunder and Lightning. Look at this. Ricky Waters and Jerry Rice. 
Yeah, I wish that was a Joe Montana. That's a nice card though. Those are nice, those are pretty heavy cards right there. Nice, Clyde Edwards Hyde, rookie card. Awesome, very cool. And he's in a Chiefs uniform. And then this dude, Jarek Wills, he's in his college. So that's, I'm really curious. So some of these guys are in their college uniform and some of them pro. But remember, they do the modification uh, to the pro uniform. James Morgan of the Jets. I wonder what happened to him because I sold an autograph card earlier in the year from the Don Ross pack I, I opened. Um, but there's fans of this guy. I have to see if this guy even is still on the Jets roster. Cole McDonald. Nice. This dude from Hawaii right here, man. This dude from Hawaii, man. Marcus Mariota had a great game, by the way, coming for the Raiders. You know I'm biased to my Islanders. So to Hawaii, buddy, my, my Hawaii guy. I know you're probably looking at this card, bro. Brandon Ayuk, nice. I got another one of his rookie cards. Luke Keekley, Will Disley, Darius Smith. Oh, nice. Cool Eric Dickerson card. Very nice for the PC. I love this uniform. I love that logo. That's the only Rams logo in your uniform that I go by. Terry Bridgewater. Wish that was a... Uh, um, I can't talk. CD Lamb. So that's a Vander Esch. Randy Moss. Randy Moss said that he's better than Jerry Rice. Come on, Moss. You're good, but Jerry Rice, bro, come on. Evan Ingram. Todd Gurley. Washed up. Steve Largent. Marvin Jones Jr. Kenyon Drake. Ryan Kerman with the Washington football team and Alvin Kamara. So not bad, I gotta say, for my football cards for playoff. That is not a bad pickup right there. So those are definitely gonna get sleeved up for sure. So let's see what we got luck over her, shall we? All right. So I have to go back and look at those exclusive blue optic chrome ones. I don't know if those are those two uh, ones in the middle that I found earlier, but we'll see. So if you want to use this code thing, go ahead. Oopsie. Let's see here. So it's nice and thick in the middle right there. And let's see what we got here. So we have Chris Jones. Deontay Johnson. Josh Allen, who's playing right now as I'm taping this. I'm going to watch that Bills game and Broncos game. Darius Leonard. Andrew Tippett. As much as I hate the cheaters, I kind of like their classic logo. Uh, we'll see here. Baker Mayfield. Joey Bolsa. Joe Namath. Tyreek Hill. Odell Beckham. Overpaid and always getting hurt. Hunter Henry. JJ Watt. Xavier Howard. AJ Brown. Okay, so here's that exclusive one. I seem to always get James Conner. There's that green kick. So it's a green kickoff playoff ordeal. Jared Cook. Or maybe that's just the shine of it. Oh, nice. Donovan Peoples-Jones. So maybe that's that blue chrome thing, I guess. This dude has been doing pretty well for Cleveland. Rookie Wave. Okay, so who is this guy? Cole Kemeth. Is this guy a tight end? Anyways... I got some Cam Maker ones that I bought on eBay, so these are pretty popular. Kind of cool card. Behind the numbers, nice chrome card, Russell Wilson. So I'm sure these cards I could sell later on eBay. Uh, what we got here? So then the rookie cards looks like they come in order after those chrome cards. I'm assuming that's what they're called. So Zach Moss, John Luch, rookie. Isaiah Coulter. Henry Ruggs. Nice. I've been putting a lot of Henry Ruggs. Raymond Colasis. Classes. The Iron Man. Larry Fitzgerald. Dwayne Haskins. Who's been playing in place of Alex Smith. I know he's hurt. Emmett Smith. All-time great. Devontae Adams. Tyler Higby for my PC because I am a Rams fan. David Montgomery, not my go, but that I can sell probably to the Brady fanboys out there and girls. Brandon Dawkins, uh, TJ Hawkerson, 
Patrick Peterson, Joel Thiesman, Drew Brees, Love You Brees, Amari Cooper, Kyle Rudolph, Raheem Moser, and what is this? Finish with the same. And a Michael Thomas. So not bad haul for my playoffs. So let's go back to the uh, my cards. So that's for my PC. But not bad. Look at that. It's that Clyde I like right there. Hopefully that one will do well for me. That's a cool one. And I know some fanboy will want this one. And Jake Fromm. Very cool. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my hunting video. Once again, guys, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment. Primarily, don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. As always, live happy, live healthy, and live in harmony. It's your boy, LT. And I'm out. Peace.